Hi everyone, in this video I will give an introduction to the modeling of the volatility surface. The global objective when modeling the volatility surface is to get with the model the implied volatility for all strikes and maturities. The implied volatility is the volatility implied by Black Scholes call or put option prices. And the model is calibrated with observable market prices. However, the volatility surface is not arbitrary. And we have to be careful with the model used to interpolate or extrapolate the volatility curves. Indeed, there are arbitrages constraints, and the volatility surface is free of static arbitrage if and only if it is free of butterfly arbitrage, which guarantees that the risk neutral density is positive, as we will see in another video, and it is free of calendar arbitrage as well. The modeling of the volatility surface is key to price non-listed vanilla options for all strikes beyond the listed ones, it can be typically very out of the bonnet, and to price vanilla options for all maturities as well. To price exotic options with potentially complex payoffs, the model being calibrated to fit observed market prices from vanilla options as closely as possible, or for risk management purposes. Being able to model the volatility surface, but also how it can change, is key to manage the volatility risk of a portfolio. There exist many methods to model the volatility surface, and it has been the topic of numerous research papers and books over the past decades. Parametric methods consist on interpolating, extrapolating the volatility surface for all tracks and maturities, or the volatility curve for a specific maturity with a parametric model. Model parameters being calibrated to have model prices as close as possible to market prices. The SVI model popular on equities, the Vanna Volga method popular on FX, or the Saber model on rates are some examples of models to interpolate or extrapolate the volatility smile at a given date. In stochastic volatility models, both the underlying asset price and its volatility have some sources of randomness creating a non-constant volatility surface. Saber, again, which is widely used in the interest rate derivatives market, allows to fit a large number of volatility curves with its parameters. But it doesn't allow to control the term structure of volatility contrary to the popular Heston model, which can be used to build the wall volatility surface and has semi-analytic solutions to price vanilla calls and put options. Contrary to stochastic volatility models, in local volatility models, the volatility does not have its own source of randomness. It is a function of the asset price level and time. CEV is a popular example of parametric local volatility model, and Bruno Dupier developed the general non-parametric approach to determine the local volatility function from the partial derivatives of vanilla call prices, which can then be used to price more complex products. Jump diffusion models are mixing continuous diffusion processes with jump processes. They are useful for stress testing, risk management, but as well for the pricing of some options, such as short-term or very out-of-the-money ones, adding some extreme risks not captured by continuous diffusion processes. Merton, Bates, or Variance Gamma are some examples of processes with jumps. Rough volatility is a more recent generation of stochastic volatility models where the instantaneous volatility is driven by a rough fractional Brownian motion. These models have been developed based on the behavior of the volatility on high-frequency data. The rough Heston model is typically a rough version of the Heston model. So what are the key characteristics of a good model for the volatility surface? It needs to be fast to compute. Ideally, we need to have closed form or semi-analytic solutions for the pricing of vanilla options, which will be used to calibrate the model, or it needs to be applicable to fast numerical methods. Having the best representation of the reality is great, but if it takes too long to get a price, it will be difficult to be used in practice. A good model needs to provide prices not too far from what is observed for all strikes and tenors. In practice, very out of the money on short maturity options are more difficult to fit well. It needs to be arbitrage-free with absence of butterfly and calendar arbitrages. 
and it can return sensitivities and risk measures which are not too far from what is observed. In practice, it is difficult to have a model checking all these good properties, so we will need to make some choices. The choice of the model depends on its objective. Is it to price an option or for risk management, simulations or stress testing? The market we are working on. We may not choose the same model to price derivatives on equities, FX or interest rates. The option, the product we want to price. Is it to price vanilla options, pass dependent or pass independent exotic options? Depending on the need, we may only need a good modelization of the volatility smile for a given date and not of the whole volatility surface. Thank you for your time.